welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, I'm a Glowforge enthusiast, and I'm consistently posting. I'm scared. It's because I have help. It's because Colin's here. But one thing that we are going to do today that I'm very excited about is we are going to show you, I'm going to show you how to process your files, your Glowforge files, through Canva. Now, if you don't know what Canva is, Canva is like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop for dummies. There's tons of templates, there's lots of things. And I'm gonna show you how I made this little sign here, Colin put a video of the sign, um, on Canva and then just exported it as an SVG, which is the file type that you need. And it didn't keep, um, if you've ever used Adobe Illustrator before, sometimes when you export files that are have text in them, it'll say linked file. Um, but as you can see, I just pulled up a, you know, an image, I created the sign that I wanted, and then I split it up into three different pages by duplicating that first page. And the reason I did that is so that I would have one that's a demo that's just showing me visually what I'm wanting to see, and then every single step or every single cut it, cut piece or piece of acrylic that I was gonna put in my Glowforge, I made a page for that. So once I had my demo page, I had, this sign is very simple. It is three different cut parts. It's the main piece that has the cutout letters um, and the little inserts for like the, Z, the, the O and the P. Oh, my phone just went off, sorry. And then it also has the back pieces that create the color. So. You could like cut the letters out and then set them in and then do a backing. This is just how I did it. You could do it a lot of different ways, okay? We just cut out two different colors and then hot glued it on. Okay, so the first page is the demo, second page is the black piece. And then what I did is took out the background. Um, I took out the fill and I gave it a border. So using the shapes on Canva of one, the smallest border possible because we really just want a path. And then when I ended up putting the text in, I did the same thing. I go to the t effects on text and then I changed it to hollow and I changed the thickness to one. So you can have it all set up with a one pixel path and then I exported that as an SVG. Now, the same things with the, the backing. I created squares with the shapes tool inside of Canva. And if you don't know how to use Canva, it is very simple. I'm sure there's tutorials out there, but it is a drag and drop. It is made for dummies. Okay, so this being able to be a thing that I can use is going to make my life so much easier. So I exported them as SVGs. It came out in two files and I put them into the Glowforge app and I was worried that I would have issues with it being like a clipped mask or a, um, you know, a linked file, but I had no issues except for Glowforge gave me like a thing. It said, your file created a clip mask and we turned into a path. And so I was like, okay, Slay, I, I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Um, I cut all of my acrylic on my personal favorite setting, which is acrylic stubborn. It's one that I made. I believe it's a 130 speed full power and it does two passes because I hate wasting acrylic. And when you think you cut through and you've only cut through halfway, I just don't have time for that. Um, so yeah, once I made the files, it was very easy. I put the pieces in there, I cut it all out. And then you can see the thing that took longest, I think, um, was peeling off all the little stickers because I didn't have any duct tape to help me. And also I used tweezers and I kind of scratched some of the pieces. So don't do that. <laughs> but after all that, this is the final product. It'll be really pretty B-roll here, I'm sure. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. And actually I decided to make two because I am going to give away the second one. And if you're interested in the giveaway details, they're gonna be down below. Um, but this one is going to be given to one of you amazing people. I don't know why I'm holding it, because like it's here right here in my brain. I, I, there's B-roll and I literally just held it up in my head. Oh my God, I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what's real or fake anymore, but one of you people are getting this sign. So if you're interested in it, let us know. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below. Um, do, uh, 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 um, let me think of something. Edit this part out where I think it's really hard. Um, I've done this so many times that I just can't think of an emoji that doesn't feel super, super weird and cringy. Um, okay, if you've made it this far, do the 100 in the bottom. Do the 100 in the bottom to show me that you're, you've are you stuck it through. Mind you, if you want a glow board, you can save 500, up to $500 if you use my code SamCanDo or just go in the link down below. You can reach me on Instagram every, every day um, in my DMs or you can comment down below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. I'm very, very grateful for the, those of you who are still watching my videos and yeah, I will see you guys next time.